Hi friends, my, my name is Dr. Vivek Bilatu. I'm consultant medical oncologist at uh, Fortis Hospital, Banegata, Bangalore. I'm here to talk about one of the most important medical condition which affects uh, women in their reproductive uh, ages, age groups, cervical cancer on the occasion of uh, Cervical Health Awareness Month. It's a very important medical condition because it affects nearly half a million people around the world and nearly 50% of them uh, die because of this disease. It's very important uh, in the Indian context because nearly one-fourth of this uh, disease burden is contributed by us. Um, the most important thing about this condition is it is caused by a virus known as human papilloma virus and there are vaccines available nowadays to prevent this condition and there are uh, programs uh, what is known as screening programs to detect this cancer very early and, and, and treat this condition as well. In India, uh, unfortunately, we do not have uh, either vaccination or uh, screening programs in our health policy. So uh, awareness uh, among the public becomes very, very important. Um, coming to uh, some of the high risk, uh, risk factors for this condition, like any other disease, this disease uh, too has some uh, causes or risk factors like uh, starting sexual activity very early, uh, in their life and then having multiple sexual partners, having sexually transmittable diseases like herpes virus uh, infections or even chlamydia and some of the immun um, immunocompromised conditions like HIV and also uh, oral contraceptive pill usage for a longer time uh, can cause this condition. The symptoms of this condition uh, are uh, they can be completely asymptomatic in the initial stages of the disease and most commonly the symptom is uh, vaginal bleeding which is either excessive in nature or irregular or it can be postcoital what is known as uh, bleeding after a sexual act and sometimes people uh, patients can present with simple uh, excessive vaginal discharge as well uh, when once one is suspected with this condition the evaluation involves uh, a good clinical examination by a gynecologist or an oncologist and then a biopsy uh, of the suspected lesion and an abdominal and pelvic scan uh, which can be either a CT scan or an MRI scan. And then the treatment is generally uh, uh, uncomplicated uh, which is um, mostly uh, going to be a combination of chemotherapy along with radiation and the outcomes are, are generally good. The most uh, uh, important thing about this condition is like we can uh, prevent this condition very well using a vaccination program which is very simple uh, schedule like either two or three doses for girls who are aged uh, eight years of age or more until the age of 26 years and um, we can prevent this condition in more than 97 percent of these individuals and the next important thing is uh, the screening program with what is known as uh, a pap smear test which is a very simple test done in, in an outpatient uh, clinic, uh, you know, outpatient clinic by a gynecologist or even an oncologist and with which we can detect the cancer in its early stage and when treated, uh, these conditions can be cured. So it's very important that we spread this, uh, you know, message and so that people are aware of this condition and they, and they can either prevent or can get detected it early so that we can have good outcomes. Thank you.